hey guys and welcome back to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial i am going to show you how to make this beautiful single uh, slider mechanism or you can say a sliding mechanism in fusion 360 this video will once again focus on developing your beginner skill in fusion 360 so if you are new to my channel don't forget to share and subscribe my channel for constant update on fusion 360's tips and tricks videos so let's get started without wasting any time just switch back to a new workspace go to sketch click on any plane and let's select the front plane remember all the dimension has been assumed just to show you the tricks how to make uh, uh, assembly in fusion 360 so we'll make by starting uh, by making a box of let's say 100 by 100 mm so press tab type 100 press again tab type 100 for the other one and press enter now just go to finish this sketch click on extrude command from the create and just extrude it up to a distance of uh, let's say 200 or oh, uh, I think 300 would be enough yeah 300 now let's make it 500 let's make it 500 and the operation would be new body remember uh, for assembly you have to make your each component as a new component and press ok now don't forget to press shift and n for color toggle to switch on the color toggle you can choose here from do not uh, uh, color computer toggle or you can just go to inspect and click on component toggle cycling now this is going to be the our base now what we have to do is you have to create the sliding box so for that just click on now uh, again click on sketch and click on let's say front plane this was the our front plane and again draw uh, let's say another rectangle press r for rectangle another rectangle like this uh, it uh, you can give any dimension press d for dimension let's give it, it a height of uh, yeah i think 30 is enough and it is going to be uh, of similar uh, length that 100 mm and just click on finish this sketch just switch back to isometric view press extrude and extrude it and the, remember the operation would be new component and the distance let's say and take it i think 75 mm is good now press ok now you can see it's a completely different component they both are a different component and don't forget to revert back the position this will help you to make your assembly more easier you can you can also just hide it and move it along any direction you want but then you have to make it a symbol i am making the 3d model as a symbol so that i don't have to you know uh, don't have to use my brain to uh, remind which parts go where so now now for the next step let's put a hole and a rod flow through here so click on solid click on this face press c for circle and draw a circle of diameter uh, 25 and press d for dimension from top give it a dimension of uh, let's say 50 and from here to here give it a dimension of 40 and finish the sketch and just click on extrude the dam this time the operation would be cut and press ok now again go to sketch switch back the last sketch you have drawn yeah i think where was it yeah here it is and again click on extrude select this sketch and x now that component will be new component extrude it uh, the, uh remember the direction would be two-sided the first side would be 30 and the other side the second one would be let's say 150 and a component and press ok now what we have to do is once turn just switch back this sketch now click on create a sketch click on this particular face here uh, here again draw C for circle 
and from coins uh, from the center of the circle you have drawn earlier draw a circle of 40 mm diameter and then press C again for circle and just uh, below that draw another circle of 25 diameter in diameter now press L for length draw two line joining both the circumference of the circle you don't have to give any constraint uh, then what you have to do is you have to make this line cons uh, tangent to the circle for that go to constraint click tangent select this circle and this line select this circle this line and similarly this circle in this line uh, actually it is uh, you can see the uh, tangent C symbol here so they are already tangent to each other now here press again press C and draw a smaller circle of uh, 15 mm diameter now what we have to do is press T and from the center CD distance would be 90 mm like this now you can just trim the excess part or you don't have uh, or you can just finish the sketch now what we have to do is click on extrude command select this component not the hole because uh, we do, we want the hole to be at their position now extrude it opposite in opposite direction up to a distance of minus 15 and the operation would be new component this is going to be our entire new component and press ok now you can see uh, fusion is automatically given each component a different color just, just cause uh, just because we have uh, switched on the toggle cycle component if I just press shift plus n you can see that it's back to their normal position so press shift press again and fusion will automatically uh, give an uh, individual color to each component now uh, let me just go back to the sketch and let me just show you one thing uh, that this distance the which I have made a 90, 90 mm distance this will uh, uh, this dimension will be responsible for our stroke length so if you want a larger stroke length of the this moving block blue so you can just alter the dimension from here at any time of the design process even after completing all the assemblies you can if you just want to the stroke to be longer then you can just make it uh, suppose that 150 instead of 90 i will show that in the later part of the video so now what we have to do is uh, we have to make a pin here on the block then we are going to connect that pin with uh, this orange uh, part so for that click on create a sketch click on uh, here and press c for circle draw a circle here and uh, this time the diameter would be 10 and press d for dimension dimension from the top will be 15 and dimension from the side would be 40 or you can just uh, 35 i think it's okay it's in the middle i think and just zoom out press on extrude and just extrude a pin through it and the dimension this time uh, that uh, the distance would be uh, join and uh, the extrude dimension would be 40 now what we have to do is we have to connect this part to this part so for that just click on create a sketch and click on this profile now what we have to do is we have to make draw to circle press C for circle and from center of this draw a circle of dia 20 mm and the inner will automatically fish fusion will uh, automatically snap the inner one so you don't have to make the inner one for the hole now again repeat the same step here uh, draw another circle of uh, let's say 25 mm in diameter now repeat the step as we did earlier for this point we have to uh, connect these two press L from the circumference of the outer circle to the circumference of the outer circle repeat the step for the other line also then click on tangent uh, constraint select this line this circle this line this circle okay 
I have done something wrong. First of all, just make this uh, uh, circle. You can just uh, make this fix. So for that, uh, you can just uh, concentric this with this one. Now it will not go anywhere. Press this and this. Press line this and this. Give constraint of tangency. Again, this circle and this line. Actually, let me just do this. Press this circle and this line. Now they are tangent. You can just press T for trim and remove the excess line. Uh, now just make sure the sketch is closed. Click on finish your sketch. Now press extrude. Select this part, this one, this one. And similarly here, this one and extrude it up to a distance of 5 mm and the operation would be new component and press OK. Now once done, you have to make a pin here also. So for that, bring back the last sketch, press extrude, now select the inner circle and this time the dimension would be two-sided. The first one would be... Uh, 5 mm the other side would be like this and press ok uh, this is going to be the part of the orange one now uh, we have made every component which is required for our assembly now what we have to do is we have to make the assembly so for that just revert back the position just hide all the sketches which we don't need uh, revert back the position now we will start assembly uh, by making a part grounded that means that part will not be allowed to move so for that uh, that part is going to be the yellow one this is the base which is component one so right click on the component one and click on ground so once grounded you can see i can move any each and every component uh, beside this because i have grounded and the symbol of grounded here you can see the paper pin here just revert back the position now we will start by making the uh, assembly constraint between this uh, blue and the yellow bar so for that go to uh, joint or you can just press j uh, uh, what i am going to do i am uh, my objective is to slide this blue on the yellow one uh, so for that i have to give two lines that will that are coincidence to each other that will move parallel to each other so for that uh, I can I will snap the uh, uh, this point of the edge and similarly I uh, take uh, any point of that edge also and the motion type would be slider you can select the axis also uh, but I uh, I think uh, th this is the default axis the Z and it is okay so uh, you can just press okay now you can see I can slide it like uh, it's moving on this surface Revert back the position. Uh, you can just put it here or here or anywhere you want. So next step is to uh, give the relation between this blue bar and the this slider uh, block. So for that, press J for joint. You can just capture the position now. Uh, for the component one, just select the middle point of this component. I think, yeah. Let me just one thing. Uh, let me just measure the, the distance between this face and this face. The distance between this face and this face is 5 mm. So let me just show you. Press J for joint. First of all, let's just capture the position. Then go to joint. Select the outer surface of this face and the outer surface of this face. And once let it just uh, finish the animation now just move it 5 mm inward and the die uh, relation will be revolute you can just see it's moving like that and press ok now we have a relation between that one also you can just uh, slide it across and draw revolute as well and the next step is to revert back the position now what we have to do is you have to make the uh, uh, 
relation between the yellow and also so for that again press major command and measure the distance between two the major is the distance is 30 mm so you can just hide this component for now so press J for join just repeat the same step press the outer circle of this one and this one and just move it outward up to a distance of minus 30 so that it can move we can just relocate it to its original position and press ok now bring back now you can just revolute it as you can see now do the same step for here also press j for joint you can just capture the position this one and this one you don't have to just move it and across now the we have given the constraint to this to this now now the only thing left is to make a constant between this one and this one so for that just revert back the position uh, just click on joint uh, capture position click on this face and this face and the axis would be revolute and press ok now once done our whole assembly is completed now just switch off the all the joints and if I just try to move this block you can see that it's going it is sliding across that yellow one let me just uh, extrude it a little bit more yeah now remember what i have said earlier that the stroke length depends on the length of this orange bar uh, to change the stroke length you can just go back to the uh, history uh, this is not the one i think yeah this is sketch we need to change so just we just have to make this suppose that i want a, a stroke length longer so just make it 150 like this and just finish the sketch oh something went wrong i think i have given some uh, wrong constraint that has taken the uh, no problem you guys uh, can understand the point what i was saying so this is how you make a symbol sliding mechanism in fusion 360 hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day